Hello, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. Today we're going to be looking at how do you create a chart that displays values that got um, very different scales to them. So let's say, for instance, that you have a um, sales data for your year, and this you have your re your revenue here on this column, column B, and then you know how many units you've sold, so then you can figure out okay, th this is revenue per unit. This, these set of numbers is very different from this set of numbers because these numbers are, are all in the hundreds, whereas this one is all in the in the thousands. So, if we create a chart, it might not look that great. Let's go and have a look. Let's create a 2D column chart, and just for ease, I'll put it onto a new tab. And as you can see, the chart itself is not is not great because the revenue per unit in the red does not really tell us anything that great um, because it's so little compared to the revenue the two uh, numbers don't actually make too much sense displayed in this way so the way we can improve this is to click on the red the revenue per unit that we want to change right click on the right and then we go to format data series and then this is the important bit you can see here plot series on at the moment is on a primary is on the primary axis which is this one on the left which is the default one what we can do is to simply click on the secondary axis and here we go it's now displayed on the secondary axis of course, this now creates a bit of a problem with the type of chart that we have selected. So what we do, we just right click again on the series that we want to change and we go to change series chart type. We click on that and let's say we want to chart it as a line with markers. And here you go. You have a much better representation of your revenue in blue and let's say we want to change the way it looks and the revenue per unit so here on the left you have the revenue here on the right on the secondary axis you have the revenue per unit what's very useful to do is to move the, the legend format legend and you put it at the bottom in this way you leave the um, the axis by themselves so it doesn't actually um, doesn't get confused and then you can go on to format axis and do basically all that you want to do with that particular axis and then you're free to play with the other axis on the other hand side in an independent way so you don't have to worry about what you do on, on the primary axis um, the, import, the other important thing that you need to do here is you can go to layout and here on the axis you have the primary vertical axis this one on the left and you have the secondary vertical axis you can basically add uh, everything to those axes as well as the axis title so here for instance let's say that on the secondary vertical axis we want to have a rotated title we added it like that as you can see just added one and we just plug in basically what we want to say about this um, this axis so we call it revenue revenue per unit and dollar signs and we can do the same for the other axis. So axis title again, this is the primary vertical axis title, rotated, and here we go and say this is re revenue per month. And here we put dollars again. So again, this is a way of utilizing one chart to show two sets of numbers which have different scales to them and making sure they're both meaningful representations of the data.